everybody, it's me Stacy here at Scrapbooking Made Simple and it is time for Saturday with Stacy, YouTube number 232. Now you're watching this first thing Saturday morning and I am not at the shop, I am not doing the free make and take this morning, no Claire is stepping in for me. Where is Stacy? I am at the CHA Creativations show in Phoenix, Arizona. And what is that? Well, that's the show where all of us wonderful retailers get to go and see all the new product from all your favorite manufacturers. And yes, we get to order that product there. Do we get to bring it home with us? No. <laughs> We will have people who will see sneak peeks from like Graphic 45 and they'll say, well, do you have it? Do you have it? No. Some of the product releases in February from manufacturers, some of them release in March, some of them are in April or May. In fact, I've already ordered product that won't even be here till August, but it's so much fun. You get to see all your favorite manufacturers when I go there. I get to see all my friends. There's fellow small independent retailers like us that are going to be there but then then there's the big boys like like you know HSN and Hobby Lobby and Michaels and Joann's and and uh, they also attend the show to see the newest product so it's always interesting to see uh, you can tell the local retailers or the small mom and pops because we're in our sweatshirts and our aprons and then the the big mucky mucks are in their business suits. <laughs> so if you follow us on YouTube, I want to let you know, if you do get over to Facebook, and it's very easy to do, I'll be doing live from CHA Creative Vision the whole time I'm there. I'll be visiting different booths and showing off what they've got. And thankfully, I usually am able to convince the manufacturer to give us a prize to give away. So if you follow us on Facebook, well, you already know this. This is old hat for you. But if you follow us on YouTube or via my emails, it's easy to get to Facebook and you don't have to have a username or login. Scrapbooking Made Simple, our Facebook page is public and that means anybody can view it at any time. So you can go over to Facebook, just go to scrapbookingmadesimple.com, look for the icon at the top of the, of the page that has the F in it, click it and that will get you over to our Facebook page. And then you can follow along all the different places that I stop for the three days that I'm there. You won't be able to post a comment because you don't have a username and login for Facebook, but at least you can see what is coming your way. And those of you who do follow us on Facebook, well, of course, you know, you'll be able to post something. Who knows what I'll come up with when I'm there, but we give away lots of wonderful prizes, assuming I can convince each manufacturer to give up some of the goods. <laughs> So I'm not here at the shop today. Claire is handling the free make and take, but we do have a YouTube for you. And full disclosure on this YouTube, full disclosure, some of this product is extremely limited. <laughs> this is a flash sale YouTube. It's also with Sizzix, and I have product from Sizzix that is not being released at CHA. We're one of I let less than three places, three, three stores that have this in stock and we have the bulk of the inventory. So you can't find this product from Sizzix on Sizzix.com anytime in the next several months. It won't be released until probably July of this year. So I've got that for you, but I've also got a flash sale deal for you from Dreamweavers and we've got their mica powders. And again, full disclosure, you're going to love them. You really are. And there's many, many colors, but the quantities are limited and when they're gone, they're gone. So if you don't know what they are and you want to watch the YouTube to see if you're going to want them, you may find that a few colors might be sold out. If you think you already know what they are and you want to go order them, put me on pause. Pause face. <laughs> pause me. And then come back after you place your order because they are at a phenomenal price, truly. Um, just like we did the alcohol inks at a crazy low price. I bought them at a wonderful price. I bought all they had and I'm passing them on to you for that same wonder, for, well, 
I mean, we're charging $1.25 for them, so you can imagine there's not much profit and $1.25. We're passing them along to you for the same amazing type of price. And the reason we do that is because this may be a product that you may not know. You may not have ever played with before. You may not have ever seen it before. So you don't want to invest too much money until you're sure you love, love, love it. And so if we bring it to you at a price that is so good that you can afford to get maybe 10 colors, then, and trust me, those 10 colors are going to last you a lifetime, truly. But if you're able to play with them and decide that you like them, granted, there may be no more Dreamweaver Micahs left, but Tim Holtz has perfect pearls and these are right up that alley. I know that Lindy's has something very comparable to this. So if you start with a few colors at a price that you can afford and then you say, oh, this is so for me. There's other manufacturers that make a comparable product for more money, but at least you know you're gonna like it. And then if you buy 10 colors and you get them home and you say, uh-uh, not for me. Okay, it wasn't that big of a commitment financially, or if you buy five colors or four colors, it wasn't that big of a financial commitment that if you don't like them and you give them away, you don't feel like you lost a lot of money because that would hurt my heart. So I want you to have the opportunity to try and to play, but full disclosure, when they're gone, they're gone. So that means if you're watching this YouTube on a Monday or a Tuesday, I don't know if there's going to be any left. There could be a lot left, I don't know. You may look at this YouTube and say, oh, no, gonna pass on this right away. Or you could look at this YouTube and say, ho, oh, Christmas presents 2018. I'm gonna buy what I need for all of my friends. I'm gonna sock them away until Christmas 2018 and ta-da, it's done and at a price you can totally afford. So I just wanted to give you the heads up. Some of them I have less than 100 of, some of them I have less than 500 of, and there are a few that I have close to a thousand of. So I bought all I could, truly I did. There's not any more out there that I can get my hands on. Not at this price. <laughs> so I hope you enjoy it and we're going to play. Now I have winner winner chicken dinner to talk about. That is from YouTube number 231. That was my release of Garland Affections. Oh my goodness, you guys loved it. Thank you very much. You love the layering flowers. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. And I have got I Want It All bundles of the four dies that make up the I Want It All for two of you. Are you ready to hear if you're our lucky winner, winner chicken dinner this week? All right, well, you, if you are Anna Finnegan. Anna Finnegan, congratulations, Anna Finnegan. <gasps> Remember, you gotta snap when you do your happy dance. I'm happy, yes, I'm happy. I'm a winner, chicken dinner, but you're not alone, Anna. I've got another, another winner, winner. Oh. Oh, <laughs> I stink at announcing names. Uh, Renita, I'm gonna go with Renita. I'm going with Renita. Is it mirrors? Renita mirrors, I'm going with that. Okay, Renita, I might have spelled your name or said your name wrong, but it doesn't matter. You're a winner, winner, chicken dinner. And that's what matters, right? <laughs> How are you girls gonna claim your prize? It's so, so easy. Go to scrapbookingmadesimple.com. Find the link that says winner, winner, chicken dinner. Click it, follow the directions, and send us the email like we ask you to. We will confirm that you're our winner, winner, chicken dinner, and then we'll get your prizes right out to you. Congratulations. You've got 30 days from the date of this YouTube to claim your prize. Otherwise, it goes in the bucket of anniversary never claimed prizes, and that's a pretty smoking hot bucket. So don't let your prize go un unclaimed. You won it. Rightfully so. You won. <laughs> All right. So, Renita and Anna, Congratulations to both of you. How do you get to be a winner, winner, chicken dinner at Scrapbooking Made Simple? Easy, you just have to have a username and log into YouTube. You have to click subscribe onto the Scrapbooking Made Simple channel, and then you can post a comment on this YouTube. Can international peeps win? Yes, if you have an address and we can get it to you, we're gonna get it to you. So 
by all means, wherever you live in the world, if you have an address that we can ship to, you can be a winner winner chicken dinner. Okay, I have got a lot to go over today. I'm gonna tilt on down, we're going to get started. And again, full disclosure, I only have so much. I bought all I could. So please, please, please don't send me emails where you get really, really mad at me or post on social media where you get really, really mad at me because we sold out. Please don't do that. <laughs> please. Thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> really much love. Okay. All right, you guys, I'm going to tilt on down and we're going to get started for today. Bye. All right, so here's my trying to zoom on in and tilt down and zoom on in. I'm going to go with that. Here is the make and take that we have going on downstairs. Look at how cute is that. We are using new dies and stamps from Sizzix and we are using the Dreamweaver's Mica Metallic FX powders. Isn't this the cutest little card? So we have that one. We did it in a whole bunch of colors so that, can you see how those metallics work? So that our in-store peeps can have fun and play and do whatever color makes their heart happy. And then I've got this one here too. Isn't that just so cute? And can you see the metallic right here? Okay, so let's get started. First things first. I have a whole slew of the Dreamweaver Metallics FX powder. It is a powder. It is very much like Perfect Pearl. It's going to last you a really long time because you use so little of it. The colors are very rich. They're very beautiful. I think they're um, a little more intense than a perfect pearl. They're a little richer in pigment than a perfect pearl, but these were not meant necessarily to be used like a perfect pearl. These were to be used with your um, mixed media mediums, you know, to, to use to mix with a, a, a mousse of some sort to spread over a stencil, or if you took your your paste and went over your stencil, then you could, once it dries, brush this into it and make the metallics. But they're very, very lovely colors. And again, you get a lot in this little jar. They retail for $4, they're $1.25 on our flash sale. Okay, but what do they do? Well, lots. They will let you uh, paint with them. You can make mists out of them. You can do beautiful metallic stamping with them. And that's where I think we're going to start. I think that's where we're gonna start. So first things first, I'm gonna bring out some of the Sizzix sets that we have for you that are literally brand new, hot off the press, won't be released to the other stores, to anywhere actually in the United States until probably July 2018. We have them months and months and months early. And they're just darling. They're just a cute little set and they retail for $7.99. We of course will have them on a YouTube Yummy, but talk about affordable. It's a really great way, an entryway, to get into the stamps and dies and keeping your budget down and they make the easiest little embellishments and cards because they're not overwhelming. They're not giving you so much that you just don't know what to do with it all. And for the price, I think they're pretty rock star. There's 15 different sets and we will have them all for you along with an I want it all. And again, they'll be, they'll be on sale. So I think, I think I'm going to start with our little cup. Now, it looks like it's for Christmas because it has little snowflakes and a little snowflake in the center. But when you open it up, you see they were very smart. The stamp has a hole in it where that little snowflake will go. So if you don't want to make it a warm cup of cocoa for Christmas, you don't have to. 
You can make this whatever you want, and it's just darling. I think I'm going to grab a block, and I can use, so I've got my blocks from Do Crafts. This is the small set, $12.50 for the whole set of blocks. One, two, three, four, five blocks for $12.50. Comes with the cute little storage. And then we also have an exclusive on the large block set. So one, two, three, four, and this is a little, I think this is $10.95. Between the two sets, no two sizes are duplicated, nor will you ever probably need another size block if you have both of these. And I like them because they're storage. I don't lose my blocks. So I'm just gonna pull out one of my blocks. They're not as thin as the Tim Holtz grid blocks. We used to use the grid blocks all the time, but these are a little bit, is that gonna be, oh, am I gonna just make it? No, I think I'm gonna have to go one bigger. The Tim Holtz grid blocks did a great job and I loved them, but a lot of our customers said because they were so thin that they had trouble uh, holding on to them because they were so thin. So this is an acrylic stamp, clear stamp, and you just pull it on and put it down and pull it on. It's not sticky at all. It holds by cling. And so you can use it again and again and again. And once you have the blocks, you never have to buy them again. Now, normally when most people use a perfect pearl, they use something like a top boss or a Versamark to make it work. I'm gonna do something a little different because I have always found with Top Boss or Versamark that it can tend to wipe off even after you think it's set. Sometimes you need to spray it with a little water and that will help set it. Well, I don't wanna go that extra step. So I'm not going to. I am going to move that right over there and I'm gonna be playing with the Essentials glue pad today. This is an Essentials glue pad. What does it do? Well, it puts glue on your stamp. It's awesome. It comes with this little clear piece that you may want to just go ahead and take some pop dots and pop dot it right into the lid. That way you don't lose it. It never kind of dries out. It always stays kind of tacky. And no matter how dirty the top gets, I don't throw mine away. Well, finally I did. I had one for like nine years and I finally just had to throw it away. It, it was caked with embossing powder and glitters and all sorts of stuff, but it still worked, but it looked really bad on YouTube. <laughs> now, when you buy this, it comes in a package like this. This pad is completely dry when you buy it. It's just foam. This is the glue that goes on the foam, but this is not a re-inker. Most people, when they get theirs, want to open it up, and then they want to take this, and they just want to put it all over. Well, put some on there. Put it all over, and they almost want to empty the whole bottle because they think that this is a re-inker. No, this is the glue that you're going to use each and every time you use this pad. And that means you only put enough glue for the job that you are doing. So I don't need to glue it up too much. You only put enough on, ooh, even that's a lot, for what you're doing. You don't empty that whole re, that whole glue onto your pad at once. So you wanna get it in there. And once you've got it on there, you're pretty much good to go. And if I'm done, I would make sure that my lid goes back on and then my top lid, and I would save the rest of this until the next time I wanna use it. And then I would open this up and put a little bit on just to kind of reactivate it. But that glue never dries all the way. So I need to wipe my finger off of with glue. So I've got my glue on my Essentials glue pad and I've got my stamp on my block and I'm gonna play with black paper. So I'm gonna bring over my gush pad I'm gonna put my black paper right on top of my gush pad. What's a gush pad? Well, if you're a stamper, you don't wanna stamp onto a hard surface. When you stamp onto a hard surface, there's nothing for that stamp to sink into and make really great contact with your paper. So, Doris had this gush pad and it was huge. It, well, it wasn't called a gush pad, it's a stamp pad, but it was enormous and we would have to cut it in half to ship it. And so some people got really upset that we had to cut it in half. So. 
we decided to just go out and make our own gush pad, which fits an envelope really nicely. It's eight and a half by 11. We cut this one in half. You can actually cut it into quarters if you want and have one as a big one and then a couple of quarters, whatever makes your heart happy. But when you put your stamp down on it, it lets the stamp, because there's a little bit of gush, it lets the stamp sink into the paper and make better contact. Now I am going to glue up my stamp. Glue it up. It does not take much. And I'm gonna press. Oh, maybe I'll do it this way. One, two, three, A, B, C, up. Can you see it there? One, two, three, A, B, C. There's still glue here. And in fact, your second impression is usually better than your first. Ready? One, two, three, A, B, C, up. Oh yeah, see, that's perfect. Okay, I don't know if you can see the difference. This one is more glossy than this one. This was the first impression. This is the second impression. This is still going to work just fine, but it's going to take time. We're gonna to need to waft it just a little bit. So I am going to, oh, well, I have fussy scissors. I'm gonna cut these apart. Now this glue is a two-way glue and it works best if you give it time to just be. It needs to just be. If you try to use it too soon, whatever it is won't stick well to it. It needs to have some time to kind of dry, which is why the first impression is a little bit thicker of glue. So it's going to take a little bit longer for this to go tacky. It is the one time in your life you want to go tacky. Yes, be tacky, trust me. This impression, which was the second impression, which doesn't have as much glue, is going to be ready to use much sooner. And I don't know, there may have even been enough One, two, three, A, B, C. So that's even lighter, but I bet it'll work too. So this one will work as well, even though it's very, very light. But because it's very, very light, it will take less time to dry versus the first one. So how do you let it go tacky? Well, you have a chance, you can waft it like I'm doing. You can blow on it, or you can stamp three of them until the impression is gone and start with one of these first and then come back to this one a little bit later. How long can you walk away from these? Oh my goodness, easily up to 20, 25 minutes, 30 minutes. So if you need to answer the phone, if you need to make yourself a cup of tea, if, if you need to get the door, uh, if you need to go online to shop, <laughs> You've got time because these are not going to go bad. They're not. You can let them sit there and come back to them later, which is a really nice feature. All right, so I think I'm going to start with the one that is the least, with the least amount of glue. Move my stamp pad out of the way. And now I have got my, my micas. I don't know what color I want to use. Um, let's use the blue. So I've got the blue. For me, it's easier to see the color when they're upside down because on top, you can't tell what it is. And honestly, the labeling covers almost everything up. I keep them upside down. What you need to know is if you keep them upside down, when you're ready to use it, turn it over, and tap and let that, let that powder sift down and go down into the bottle. Okay, so um, I'm gonna use the blue. And I've got my little brush and I'm literally just going to dip in. It takes very little. I don't know if you can see, I have very little on my brush and this is going to do almost this whole thing. So I'm gonna just kinda dab that around where I want the blue to be. 
So I've got this cute little cup, so maybe I want the handle to be a little different. I'm just going to dab this around. Dab, 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 dab. So that's where I'm at right now. It doesn't look like too much, I know, but it will. But I want to be specific about where I put my color, although I just colored that one by mistake. Oh well, happy accidents. Then I think I'm going to take my gold, tap, 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 and I'm going to come in and do the little handle on the cup, and I'm just putting it right on top. And I'm not pressing hard. I'm just painting with it. And then I think I'm going to do my little scallopies. You're not pressing hard at all. You're just getting that powder on top of that glue. And then I have my little froth. My little steam coming out. So this is where I'm at so far. You can kind of see the outline of the cup. It's almost there for you. But what's going to make it really work is taking a makeup brush. Now, this is the e.l.f. line. They sell it at Target. They sell it at Walmart. I don't know if Dollar Store has it, but it's a dollar a brush. It's just the most inexpensive little powder brush. I don't see the reason in spending a lot of money for a brush that you're just going to brush it off. So, I mean, you could buy a nicer brush. They do run, you can buy one in the crafting department, absolutely. They can run anywhere from $6 to about $20. But wouldn't you rather take that $6 and buy five more colors of mica and get a dollar brush at Walmart? Okay, so I'm gonna hold it in my hand and I'm gonna just lightly go back and forth and back and forth and back and forth to get it all off. I'm not gonna, I'm not trying to, you know, scour it. We're not cleaning the bathtub, but, um, but you wanna give a nice all over and it's just going to all, all dust off. How cute is that? Isn't that darling? All done in the metallics on black paper, which can be hard to do. And then, I don't want to lose these two because we're still going to use these two. Remember, I've still got these two that I did earlier. Then you have the die from Sizzix. $7.99 for the stamps and the dies of these little bundles. They're little new mini sets. I'm in love, love, love with them. Oh, I'm going to die cut that. But before I do that, I think I'm going to open up the acorn. So the first round of sets of the mini sets from Sizzix kind of are related around holidays and themes. There's some Christmas, there's some fall, there's some uh, Valentine's and spring. They all kind of, you know, go around a theme except for there's a Norwal. Didn't know what a Norwal is. I have now learned the Norwal is the unicorn of the sea. And I'll, I'll show you when I get to the Norwal <laughs> on the samples. So I'm going to pull that big old acorn off. And I think I'm going to pull that die off too. I'm going to put it right on my block. I'm going to grab another piece of black paper. I'm going to grab my gush. I've got my Essentials glue pad that is still plenty of glue, tons of glue. Most people use more than they need. And I'm just going to get a little bit on there. And I'm going to go ABC123 up. Ooh, let's try one more time. ABC123 up. 
And yep, I got two great impressions. This one was the first one. You can tell it's a little wetter, a little more glossy. This is the second one. So I'm just gonna snip those in half and I'm gonna let these sit here and kind of dry while I, I really needed a full pair of scissors. Hmm, oh well, fussy scissors work. Okay, I'm gonna let those dry while I come on over and die cut out my little cup. So I've got my Sizzix Big Shot machine. I've got a multi-purpose platform which will absolutely work. Keep all tabs closed because you're working with a wafer die. I've got my cup plate. I have got my cup plate down. I've got my die. I'm going to line it on up. I think that's pretty good. Put my do not cut plate on top and send it on through. Could you use your Sizzix magnetic platform? Of course you can. That's just gonna keep that die in place and make sure it doesn't move. Do I need to go back and forth? No, these are open frame dies. What does an open frame die mean? Look at how cute is that now that it's all cut out. Is that not darling? Cute little steamy coffee or tea or whatever you want it to be because we didn't add that little snowflake embellishment to it. You could if you wanted it for the winter, but how cute is that? All done with a $7.99 set and then you can go from there. It's really just very simple. And so why am I not using a Versamark or a Top Boss? Why am I using the Essentials glue pad? because I find that the powder won't rub off with the glue pad. Sometimes with a top boss or a Versamark and you do the perfect pearl over the top of it or the Ranger medium, it will wipe, it will, it will start to wipe off. With the Essentials glue pad, you get the same look, but you don't have to spray it with a little bit of water. It won't rub off. And I liked that better, so why not just do that? <laughs> Okay, so I've got that one. It's super cute, super cute. Now I'm going to bring over the acorn and I'm going to just give it a little bit of a waft, a little bit of a waft. Make sure that it goes tacky because remember, if you're using this and you're trying this and when you're rubbing it all off, it's smearing. It's because you didn't let the glue get tacky. Truly, it's the one time in your life where you have permission to be as tacky as possible. So it's good to leave it for, a, you know, up to, I wouldn't start, you know, I would let it sit for three, three minutes or so. But if you waft it, you're going to go much faster. It's going to let you work with it much faster. And I think on this one, ooh, I don't know. Hmm. Hmm. I think, I think I'll just do it in green, right? Just go with it, right? Don't think too long. So I'm gonna play with my green, or maybe I'll do it in the white. Ooh, maybe I'll do it in the white. A little bit of powder, doesn't take much. Just a little dab will do ya. And then I'm just gonna kinda put it all the way around where I want it to go. And I'm not pressing hard. And I'm just kinda moving it around where I want it to go. Just moving all that excess powder to cover up all that glue. 
and it's going to stay where that glue is and it's going to hold firm and tight okay so I've got it all over kind of looks fuzzy that's because we have to dust it off see I probably could have let it go tacky just a little bit longer because it kind of spread a little bit there but we're going to die cut this so it's going to be okay so now I've got this kind of whitey acorn. Now what am I gonna do with it? Well, this powder also lets you paint. It doesn't have to be used like this at all. You can just paint with it. And what do I mean by paint with it? Well, let's get some water on our craft mat. And this is a simply refined, non-slip, non-stick craft mat. The very, very, very first one that was on the market. There are more on the market now. So I knew my good idea wouldn't last forever, but, um, but I'm happy other people agree that it was a good idea. <laughs> I, don't, I don't look at it as a bad thing at all because if nobody else thought it was a good idea, nobody else would do it. So I'm gonna take the copper and I'm going to add a little water to it. And then I can go in and paint. And just paint that right on. So not only can you use it with your glue pad, you can just use it to paint. So I made an outline with the stamp, the acorn stamp, and now I'm filling it in with my metallic Dreamweavers FX powder and painting with it. Maybe you didn't want to leave that acorn just black in the center. And it stays wet for a while, so you've got time to move it. Mm, I think I want a little more in the center. A little bit heavier in the center. There we go. Oh yeah, so now I'm painting with my metallics. So that's two different things you can do with these. Which one do you like better? Do you like to stamp with it? Do you want to paint with it? Let's wipe this off. And I think I'm going to go ahead and open up that green. And I'm gonna take a little bit of my green and mix it with a little bit of water. Got a little copper in there, but and I could go in and paint my insides green if I wanted the whole thing to have a metallic look to it. So I am just painting all of these little black spaces green to finish up my little acorn. Let's just get them all filled in. And you can see how far 
the metallic goes on your paintbrush. I haven't gone back to get more yet. I'm still working from the first bit that I put into my paintbrush. It loaded my paintbrush beautifully and it looks like I'm going to be able to do my whole acorn without having to go back and dip in and get more. That's how far the powders go. A little goes a long way and in the beginning you may use a little more than you need. You'll learn as you play with them that you don't need to use as much. So cute! Isn't it so cute? But we're not done <laughs> because of course there's a dye to go with it. Easy peasy. There's a dye to go with it. Now you don't have to die cut it if you don't want to. Gosh I feel bad I want to use this. Maybe I'll bring my machine over and be gentle with it and not put it all the way on my mat so, or, or the, okay, so that I can use it. So now, instead of using my multi-purpose platform, which is what comes with your machine, the long extended one comes with your machine, the short one is sold separately. This time I am going to grab my magnetic platform. And what does a magnetic platform do? Well, I've got my magnetic platform. I've got my cutting pad. You can see there's cuts into it. Put that down because everything you do with a big shot or a big kick or a Vagabond or a Fabby or a Big Shot Plus or a Big Shot Pro, it always gets sandwiched in between something. So here's my first cutting plate. I put my little cute little acorn down. Here's my die that's going to cut it out. And what does a magnetic platform do? Well, that. If I did that on my standard multi-purpose platform, it would just, the die and the paper would just slide right on off. But with a magnetic platform, if you are a die cutter who likes to do die cutting and stamping together, the magnetic platform is a wonderful tool. Is it an inexpensive tool? No, not so much. I think it's $39.99. $29.99, $39.99. It is a great tool to have and an even better tool to be gifted. So if people need to know what to get you for your birthday or for an anniversary or your husband doesn't, he, he might be or your wife may be in the doghouse and they want to get you something that's going to make your heart happy, tell them the Sizzix Magnetic Platform. Gosh, wouldn't that be nice to have in your stash? Because truly, if you are a die cutter that does a lot of die cutting and stamping, the Magnetic Platform just makes your heart happy. Can you use these tools with other machines? Well, you can use the dies. You can use the dies with a cuddle bug or a, what, a grand caliber or a platinum machine or a, even a Kaiser Craft die cutting machine. They even have their own die cutting machines out. Yes, the dies and the stamps are going to work in anybody's machines. The tools, however, are proprietary to Sizzix. So the, uh, the magnetic platform will not work in, let's say, a cuddle bug. It will work in a vagabond or a big kick, but not another, because those are made by Sizzix, but not in another manufacturer's machine. All right, I just wheeled them right through. Remember, this is an open frame die because it is an open frame. No not intricate, not all these die pieces in there and you got to poke everything out. So an open frame die is the easiest die to cut and most often it's just a one roll through. Now if you want to run one roll through and then roll back, you're welcome to. It's not going to hurt it, but there's no reason to rotate it and bring it back or anything like that. It cuts easy peasy. How cute. I love, love, love. <laughs> oh my gosh. And it's all metallic-y. And because we used the, uh, the glue, it's not going to get everywhere. It doesn't go everywhere. It just sits. And the little Sizzix dies and stamps are darling. And it's a good way to use black paper because it's hard to get color onto black paper. It has to be some sort of 
metallic or a color that sits on top of the paper and doesn't absorb into the paper. Because if we were to take a uh, memento ink and put this on a black paper, that's a dye-based ink. It's gonna sink right down into this paper and you're never gonna see that color. The black absorbs the color in. So you need something like a pigment-based ink that will leave, sit on top and let you see the black or something like a mica powder where easy peasy to play with you just stamp it with your stamp it with your glue pad and then go in and and color i love them and i love the size of these new little die sets so i still have these i have this one and i'm not ready to not use it did i get this wet yeah i'm gonna use my dry one okay so that's a good tip to tell you I have multiple brushes here. I'm using this one for when I'm using dry powder on it. Now, how long ago did I do this? I don't know, has it been 20 minutes? Maybe, at least, maybe? I don't know how long I've talked. I don't wanna know. <laughs> so I have a brush for when I'm just using the dry. And then I have another brush when I'm painting. Now, once the brushes are dry, it doesn't matter which one you use. The point is, if you take one that's wet and you dip it into the powder and your brush is wet, you're going to have a lot of powder along the outside and it's not gonna let you move it. It's going to become a little cakey because it's like making a batter when you've added your flour and you've started to put your water in and in the beginning it's kind of cakey but it's not real doughy yet or real loose yet. You gotta add more water. Well, that's what happens when you accidentally st uh, stick a wet brush in here and then try to move it around. It becomes kind of matted and cakey. So I just have a couple brushes and they're inexpensive. I think they're $6.95 for three. You can get brushes. You probably already have brushes. Let's see. Um, let's use the, I don't know. Decisions, decisions. I'm terrible at making decisions. Let's just use the gold to do the handle again and do the cute little insides again. And then let's use the pretty pink to do our swirl. of steam coming off. And remember, I did this one quite a while ago and it's just been sitting there waiting on me to do something with it. And then I need my dollar brush. Easy peasy. Now, I said I didn't want to waste, so I'm going to go back in because these are still wet. I'm going to load my brush, and I can go back in and just paint. They're still wet, and if I needed to, I could add a little bit more water to them. But look at how much, look how far that goes. Did you see just how far that went? I just loaded my brush up with the paint, and it just goes, it goes beautiful. And if you want it darker, then you layer another coat on top so that you don't see any of the black if you don't want to see any of the black. It just goes forever, which is why I say one, one uh, bottle, one color. The color is going to last you a very long time. Good, now I feel better, I didn't waste it.
and I'm just deepening up my color by adding a little more to the layer. Just deepening up my color, isn't that so cute? And then I suppose I could take just a little bit of water, a little bit of water, a little bit of water, get a little bit wet, load up my brush, and I could do like a little dot inside. Maybe a little dot of copper. Aren't they so cute? See, and then I didn't, I feel better. I didn't waste too much of it. And then bring over my Six Big Shot machine. I've got my magnetic platform down. I've got my little teacup, cocoa cup, hot coffee cup. And send it on through. You might hear a few little creaks and cracks. No big deal. Like I said, it's a one roll, but if you really wanted to, you could bring it back. It's not going to hurt it. So cute. That's what they are. They're just cute. <laughs> I just love them. So, so far, what we've done is we've taken them and done the outline of a stamp with them. We have filled them in with color. But because you have so much powder, there's still something more to be done. This is a mini mister. This one is by Imagine Crafts. Open it up. I'm going to grab my blue mica. Go in there. And just get some mica in there. Plenty. That's more than enough. Then I'm going to take my other mini mister because it's easy for me and this is just filled with water and I'm just going to spray that as opposed to trying to pour into that little hole. Okay, so I'm not going to fill the whole thing up. But you can see I've got some down there. Put my lid back on in. Go shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. And what's nice is you only have to make as much as you need. Shake, shake, shake. Grab a piece of paper. And go spray, spray, spray. Can you see? Now, if your paper starts to curl, can you see how this paper is starting to curl a little bit? The more water you add to it, the more it's going to curl. If that bothers you, it will dry flat and lay out flat, but if it bothers you, all you have to do is take your plain water mini mister and spray the back side with just plain water. Of course, I used all the water. Oh, no, here it is. And what happens is it will start to just flatten itself right out. Now this is wet, but look at that beautiful sheen. Is that gorgeous? And you didn't have to go out and buy 10 or 20 different spritzers. You made your own. And then when it's dry, this one is dry. How pretty is that? Now, can you use them on white paper? Yes, but every color is going to show up a little differently on white paper. Here the blue is on white, and I don't even know if you can actually see the iridescence. Every color is going to look a little different. Now, the plain white color would just look like sparkle on any color paper. So you could make your own sparkle mist 
using this for anything. But the color is just gorgeous and it doesn't take it very long to dry. And then what can you do with it? Well, you can make die cut out letters, you can make mats, you can die cut flowers, you can do just about anything you want. And it doesn't just have to be on paper. Imagine taking your mister and misting sparkles onto flowers or sparkles onto canvas or sparkles onto pre you know 12 by 12 or 6 by 6 or 8 by 8 pattern paper and you just wanted to add some sparkle to that paper you didn't want to overtake the paper but you wanted to add some sparkle and some shine to it and you only have to make as much as you need and then go rinse it all out I wouldn't make whole big bottles of it all but it's so pretty love 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 and I suppose when it's dry, you could stamp and then die cut. And <laughs> I mean, you could just do just about anything. What do we have over here? What do I have? Do I have, well, I have a, I have a donut. Oh, let's do a word. Never mind. I'm going to grab a word. Change of plan. So I've got sending you love in this one. So I'm going to grab the love out of here and the sending you. It's still a little wet, so I'm going to do it on this one. I'm going to bring over a small block because we can. So there's my sending you love. I'm just gonna lay them right down in front of me with the, <laughs> with the ridges against <laughs> my craft mat, kind of line them up where I want them, take my block and just pick them up. That's easier for me. Now, there was a YouTube about a month ago, not even a month ago, where I lined them up backwards and I put the ridges face up and then I picked them up. Oh, look at it, didn't pick them up, woohoo. But I did. I picked them up and then I inked the back and I stamped and it was just, it's flat. There's nothing there. So those ridges have to be. So sending you love. Those ridges have to be what goes against the paper because that's what makes the stamped image. And the easiest way for me to line things up and get it the way I want it is just lay it down and then poof, up we go. All right, so let's take our glue pad I'm gonna do very in fact I might even just stamp off so I'm gonna glue up doesn't take very much I haven't re-glued since we started more than enough on there right now I'm just gonna grab a piece of paper and my gush and stamp one two three and now, so I stamped off, I'm gonna save that, but then I can come over here and stamp. One, two, three, A, B, C, and pull up. And it should be there, it's up there. Hope you can see it. I'm gonna give it just a little bit of a waft, but it shouldn't take very long because it's very small and thin. Let's grab the gold, let's grab the paintbrush that I haven't been sticking in water and let's see what we get. <laughs> Yay! I wish I had a stamp that said yeah I love you to the moon and the stars and because that's what this paper kind of looks like now that it's been um, inked with the sprayed with the the mist when I made the mist out of it but that's okay sending you love will work so I went right over the top I didn't have to wait very long because one I stamped off and took the majority of the of the glue off now I'm not going to throw that away because this is still good I'll still do something with that but here I am and then
Sending you love in metallic. Now you can trim that out, back it on a piece of blue, make a mat out of it, put a blue mat behind it, and attach it to whatever makes your heart happy. They're very easy to use, truly they are. And they do such a lovely job. And having something that costs $1.25 that gives you so many different ways to use it, and again, what they're really meant to be used for is stenciling. When you have a brass or a, a, a plastic stencil, you can add this to your medium that you're gonna drag across your stencil and make it a metallic, or you can drag your stencil across with white or black and then take this and drizzle this on top and work it in. It's beautiful, that's what it was intended for, but this is what else it does on top of that. So I know it might be a little bit outside your box, but I think that one, it's a great way to incorporate black paper. Two, it just looks so, it's, it's so easy. Kids can do this, grandparents can do this. It's, it's fail proof as long as you let it go tacky. That's the thing. So maybe you stamp a dozen of them and then go make a cup of tea or a cup of coffee and come back and start. You just have to give it the opportunity, that glue the opportunity, now it's dry. How beautiful is that? So depending on how you look at it, it's got the black, it's got the blue. Now you do something with it. Now you do something with it. I don't know. But anyway, so, so that's what we've got for you today. I gave you the disclaimer. They are $4 retail. We're selling them for $1.25 each. There's, gosh, maybe 20, 25 different colors, 20 different colors. Some of them we have less than 100 of. Some of them we have close to 1,000 of. These are just some of the colors. Save your money. Buy an inexpensive fluff brush from Walmart or Target, Elf brand, one buck. You can't go wrong unless they raise the price, but I don't think they have. Anything will work. You just need to be able to go. And then once it's down, it's down. It doesn't move. It doesn't rub off. And that can sometimes happen when you're using a different medium to put it down besides the essential glues pad. And that's why I like the essential glue pad for this because it just stays put. Okay, so I'm gonna show you all the dies from Sizzix because they are Simply Darling. And then I have got a whole bunch of samples for you. All right, so we have got, what is this? Merry Christmas. So you get the words, you get the dies, you get the holly, you get the poinsettia. We've got Be Brave. Oh, that's a good one. Sometimes you need to be brave. So you've got the Be Brave, the words. So you can use the words all by themselves. You don't have to use it with the, the rest of it. And you've got the stamps to cut everything or the dies to cut everything out. We've got the cute little Happy Fall acorn <laughs> that made my heart happy. And my cute little cup of, cup of whatever, cup of joy, cup of happiness, cup of love. <laughs> We've got the donut, and that says to and from. We've got the reindeer silhouette. We've got happy holidays. And again, they're $7.99 each and then 20% off. We've got tis the season. We have got this cute little envelope. That is what we did on our make and take. This little envelope and the little piece, these little things stamp right on top of it is what we did for the make and take. We did the little envelope and then we used the sending you love to stamp from the other set. So that's what this makes, that cute little envelope. We've got some little, it looks like little Asian fan or lights. Yeah, lanterns, okay. I was gonna get there. Okay, here is a Norwal. He is the unicorn of the sea, and apparently there's a Norwal song out there, and there's two versions, the nice version and the naughty version. So be careful if you Google Norwal, but he is the unicorn of the sea. 
We've got the Sending You Love, which is what we used on the Make and Take. And what I used a little bit earlier, we've just got some snowflakes. We've got XOXO in love. And we've got trick or treat. So these are the first 15 sets that have released just to us and two other stores. They will not be at CHA for, for uh, several months until I believe July, and they will not be on Sizzix.com. $7.99 and then on sale. Now let's get to the fun stuff, the samples. All right, here's your Norwal. Isn't he cute? <laughs> Love him. There's your Norwal. Here is your Sending You Love. So you can see, all we've done is mat a few papers and put the sentiment right in the center and embellish just a little bit with some ribbon. Sending You Love. Easy. Imagine making five or six cards super fast. Look at Trick or Treat. Five or six cards super fast, bundling them together and giving them as a gift so that that person then can give them away when they need a, a, a card to give to somebody. They've got a handmade card. Look at that a cute little tag, Trick or Treat. And then we have our little heart. I want to make sure that I, yeah, our little heart. So for this one, we use the, the, um, the space, so the little donut die. The donut die just gives you a heart. So we just used it. We didn't even cut the donut out with it. We just used the heart as a die. Then we've got Tis the Season. And we've got Holiday Wishes. All of these were done with a $7.99 die and stamp set and some paper that you already have. I have got Happy Fall. Oh, I was right to put the green. <laughs> okay, well, somebody else agreed with me. <laughs> And we've got our cute little cuppa, cuppa happiness, cuppa joy, whatever, but isn't that darling? Cute little cuppa. We've got our be brave. How pretty is that? And it's just paper, paper with a few little dyes that have been colored in. Paper. What a great way to use up all those scraps. We've got our Happy Holidays. And a Trick or Treat. Cute, huh? And Merry Christmas. Well, if you wanna start your Christmas cards early, this is the way to go, because talk about a simple but effective card. If you're a new crafter and you thought you might want to do your Christmas cards this year, this is a great way to start. We've got our cute little donut. And which side this side? Our little donut opens up. Cute. And finally, we have a cute little shaker that uses several of the different elements, the Merry Christmas. So you've got, you've got the snowflake from one set, you've got the holly from another set, you've got the reindeer, and a cute little shaker card. Aren't they just darling and so, so very easy to do? Really so very easy to do. And I love the colors of this one. Just love the colors of that one. All right, so I am going to tilt on up. I'm gonna back myself up a little bit. Ooh. <laughs> I am gonna say, 
Where are you going to find all of this great product? Well, especially for the micas at $1.25 each, you're only going to find them at Scrapbooking Made Simple. That's where you're going to find them. And for the Sizzix, the new mini sets that they've come up with, the 15, again, I think online and in store, unless you live in in the area of one of those other stores, and I'm not sure what the names of those two stores are, but they're somewhere in the United States. Again, you're going to find them here at Scrapbooking Made Simple. So you can come in and shop with us. We'd love, love, love to see you. We are so honored when people travel to come in to see us. Truly, I am humbled and incredibly honored to have you in our shop. Or if you can't get here, we understand. Shop online. It's there for you. But remember, those micas are limited. So when they're gone, they're gone. And I apologize in advance if for some reason they sell out faster than when you can get to the YouTube. I, I know that everybody has a life and that you don't get to necessarily watch it first thing Saturday morning. But we do the very, very best we can. And I really wanted to bring them to you for a price that makes it affordable for as many of you out there as possible. So that if you've never played with these before, you won't be afraid to try them. At $1.25 each, there's not a lot of profit for me, and I am A-OK -okay with that. It means that you will get the opportunity to keep crafting. And as long as you're crafting, then there is an industry still to be had. And that is more important than anything else. We've got to keep crafting affordable, and we've got to keep you excited and energized and inspired about products, even if you thought you'd never love them. For $1.25, pick up five colors and try. You might find that you have found your new thing. <laughs> All right, it's me, Stacy, Scrapbooking Made Simple. I will be live from Creativation, from booth to booth to booth. So visit our Facebook page, Scrapbooking Made Simple's Facebook page, and enjoy the show. It's going to be fun. We're going to have such a good time. I can't wait to bring it all to you. Bye, everybody. ScrapbookingMadeSimple.com. Bye.